Brima Moywai is a storyteller and a drummer from Sierra Leone and Durham, whose smile shines like the sun. And his drumming circles and singing and storytelling have inspired the often beaming and proud faces of the psychiatric patients. Uh, the teens and the children and adults love him. He also performs at Wakebrook, where the adult patients follow his loving lead. Here's Brima. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to tell you a story. The story is about five little eggs, five little eggs. So, but I want you to um, say something. Can you say kanji? Jo, Betty, Jo. Kanji, Jo, Betty, Jo. It's like Betty, you know. If you know, have somebody's name, name of Betty. You know, Kanji, Jo, Betty, Jo. Kanji, Jo, Betty, Jo. Let me hear that. Kanji, Jo, Betty, Jo. Kanji, Jo, Betty, Jo. Betty Jo, Kanji Jo, Betty Jo. That was a little song. <laughs> I will come to the song. But mother bird laid five eggs in a nest high up in a tree on the banks of River Kanji. The name of the river is Kanji. So on the banks of River Kanji, high up in the tree, mother bird laid five eggs in a nest. Mother bird, like all other mother birds, she sat and sat and sat and sat on those eggs. Of course, you know what she's doing. <laughs> she's warming those eggs up, smoothing them, hoping that her children, <laughs> she can see her children really quick. But she sat and 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 sat Well, she has been sitting on that sound since <laughs> you woke up this morning <laughs> and since last dinner. But those eggs did not hatch, so she did not. <laughs> she was, she did not give up at all. She kept wondering, hmm, when is this eggs going to hatch? <laughs> well, the part of the world I come from, two seasons, dry season, rainy season. She waited six months, all rainy season in the rain sitting on those eggs, the eggs did not hatch. Waited another six months, dry season. You would think she was cooking those eggs, but she sat on those eggs, the eggs did not hatch. Hmm. Well, she thought it was just two seasons, but she waited another season, another season, another season, another season, another. Those eggs did not hatch. She kept thinking, hmm, this must be bad eggs. But that thought did not really, <laughs> she didn't believe it. She waited another <laughs> months and months and months and months. Her eggs did not hatch. She finally prepared her flight. She said, these must be bad eggs. She looked at those eggs for the last time, and she flew. My grandma mama would say she flew to the edge of the earth. And when anything that flows, <laughs> <laughs> that flies to the edge of the earth, you know that's really far. In her absence, those eggs continued to lie in that nest, high up in the tree. In fact, the rainy season that followed, River Kanji flooded, came up, the flood came up, the water came up, and nearly touched the branch that was carrying the, the nest. But all that water came down, the flood ended, and those eggs continued to lie high up in that tree. What do you know, Grandmama would say? Hmm, one day you all, those five eggs hatched. Five pretty, pretty baby birds came from that five eggs. But where was their mama? Long gone. Long, 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 long gone. Those five baby birds stayed in that nest, feeding on the ants, on ants that crawl up the trunk of a tree into their nest, feeding on the insects that fly over their nest. And every little food they got, they shared it because they were all brothers and sisters. And the more food, they had the more 
feathers and stronger they became. Very soon those baby birds were able to jump out of their nest onto a branch of the tree, another branch, and another branch, fending for themselves. And very soon they were able to uh, 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 walk away onto the other branches and wander all around the neighborhood. And the more food they had, the more feathers and stronger. And this was the time that they started actually going around the blocks now. They will fly from here, uh, Chapuskeo, all the way to uh, Burlington, and they will come back. Sometimes they go to Henderson, and they come back. Other times they go down to South Carolina, South Kakilaki, all the way to Georgia, Florida Keys, they came back to their nest. But with all these travels, they have seen other mother birds taking care of their young. One evening, one of them said, I think we should go around the world looking for our mama. Well, <laughs> that idea <laughs> was agreed upon by all the other four birds. They said, yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> we all, you know how much we all love our mamas. Is that right? Those five baby birds, they have mind of their own. They have decided to travel around the world looking for their mama. The next morning, they had their suitcases packed to hit the sky. They flew and flew and flew and flew and flew and flew on their first pit stop by a little creek. That was where huh, a mother bird saw these five pretty, pretty children without any grown-up around them, came around them. She said, children, where are you from and where are you going? <laughs> Those five baby birds, they looked at this mama bird. <laughs> they said, well, with all due respect, ma'am, we are going around the world looking for our mama. And she said, what? Well, this jungle here is so wild out here. Uh, I'm just checking, but as pretty as you are, you should be, you are my children. <laughs> the children looked at the mother bird, and she said, we well, don't even resemble you. How can you say we are your children? Well, mama bird said, I just know it. Well, the children had this challenge for her. Well, they said, well, uh, 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 if, you, if you can speak like our mama, or you cry like our mama, then we are your children. My grandmama said you can only speak Speak the language that you know, and you can only cry in the language that you know. So this mother bird, strange mother bird, didn't really have a choice, <laughs> but she had to cry in her own language. Just like we all speak, some of us speak English, some people speak French, German, I mean, you name it. I mean, birds also have languages, but check this out. Mama bird decided to make her cry because that's the only language she knows. She went, car! Car, car, car. And right there, you, if you know the woods, you know what bird is that. Is that right? <laughs> the baby bird said, no, 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 no. That was it. That's not how our mama cried. Even though we've not seen our mama. And they said, we don't really resemble you. We don't really know you. <laughs> and can, can, yeah. The mother bird said, can you tell me how your mother cries? Uh-huh. That's when the children actually came with this little song in the beginning. But they had this to tell, mother bird. They said, our mama laid our eggs long time ago. Our mama laid our eggs long time ago. Our mama laid our eggs by the Kanji River. Kanji River smoothed the eggs and the eggs hatched. Oh, oh. And they went into that little song. Kanji yo, Betty yo, Kanji yo, Betty yo, Kanji yo, yo, Betty yo, Kanji yo, Betty yo, Kanji yo. Mama Crow was doing, she was doing this. Can you do that cabbage patch, you know? That she was, you know, can you go, Betty go? She was doing the cabbage patch. But she was so impressed by these children. She said, Children, I hope you find your mama. She gave them gifts, she gave them food, she gave them a way those children traveled. But this is where, tell me your favorite bird. They met Mama Cadno. Mama Cadno was not their mama. They stayed the night at Mama Cadno's home, but she was not their mama. They met Mama. Mama Igu, Mama Igu eats other birds. But guess what? She did not hurt these children. That's how cute these children were. Uh-oh. They met Mama Owl. She was not their mama. They met Mama Blue Jay. She was not their mama. She met Mama Bui. She was not their mama. She met Mama uh, uh, Duvui. Those are all birds from Africa. She was not their mama. Uh-oh. But before they met their mama, I should tell you, they met Mama Hummingbird. 
Now my hummingbird was wondering what she was going to do with her day. She turned around and she saw these five pretty, pretty children. These children have gone around the world. They were all, you know, more feathers and probably wearing their trousers sagging, you know, down. She turned around and she said, these children, <laughs> where are you from and where are you going? Oh, with all due respect, ma'am, the bird, little bird said, we're looking for our mama. She said, you're looking for your mama as cute as you all are. I am your mama. We're right there. The children were, <laughs> they just knew what to tell this woman. So, well, uh, 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 if you can cry in our mama's language or speak in our mama's language, then we are your children. Uh oh, Mama Hummingbird did not have a choice. Like Grandma said, we can only speak the language that we know. And can you help me speak Mama Hummingbird's language? In fact, with the name Hummingbird, can you hum? Because if you hum, it really helps. Let's try that. That went on for so long, the children said, that's too long. That's not how mama cries. And she said, can you tell me how your mama cries? The children had this to say. Our mama laid our eggs long time ago. Our mama laid our eggs long time ago. Our mama laid our eggs by the Kanji River. Kanji River smoothed the eggs and the eggs hatched. And they went into that little song. Can you help me with that little song? Kanji yo, betty yo, kanji yo. Mama Hummingbird was doing, she was doing the, 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 the funky chicken. You know, you know the funky chicken? <laughs> she was doing the funky chicken. And she was, can you yo yo betty yo, can you yo yo betty yo, can you yo betty Of course, at the end of that, the children were giving gifts. Those children left Mama Hummingbird's home, they must have gone five blocks. They found their mama. They looked at their mama, the mama looked at them. They had the same color of feathers. They had the same color of beak. They had the same thing and they polish. I mean, just like we all resemble our parents. And their mama turned around and she said, how long have you been looking for me? Oh, mommy, we went all around the world, across mountains, across lakes, rivers, and to get you here. She said, I'm so glad you found me. And she, of course, that very day she threw party for them. The neighborhood birds came to that party. Of course, right around bedtime she came. She said bedtime. They all went to bed. And of course, as they were going to that bed, one of them asked their mama, "Mommy, can you tell us your own story?" And of course, that old woman looked at that child and said, "Child, I will tell you that story, but you have to sleep now. Uh, I will tell you that story uh, when I'm ready." In the morning, as they are as they are waking up, you know, from their nest, and and their mama came into their nest, and she had this to say. She said, I laid my eggs long time ago. I laid my eggs long time ago. I laid my eggs by the Kanji River. Kanji River smoothed the eggs and the eggs hatched. And the children got up from the bed and they were dancing in the bed. Kanji yo, betty yo, kanji yo, betty yo, kanji yo, yo, betty yo, kanji yo, betty yo. You would think that's the end of that story, but those mom, that mama had to uh, is a is a, is a, is the longest reunion for a mother and her children. The next for a whole month, it was party every day, every day for a whole month. But when grandmama told us that story, she said, as children, whatever you put your mind to, she said you can you can be that. You want to be a storyteller, a rocket scientist, a doctor, whatever you put your mind to. A dancer, she said, you can be that. But she said, the most important of all, she said, we should all know our history. We should all know where we come from. Because what really took these children around the world, you know, and they told everybody where they came from. That's what saved them. She, she said, we should all know our history. And remember, you can only cry or speak in the language that you know. Kanji, Jo, Betty, Jo, Kanji, Jo, Betty, Joe, I want you to draw whatever part you remember, please, and send it to Joy for me, okay? I want to see that. Thank you.
Hi, I want to do something interactive with you and um, also if you can sing with me. Um, and um, so I want to see whether uh, um, you can clap three times. One, two, three. Let me see that. Three. And I want you to cross your arms and pat your shoulders for being a, such a wonderful audience. Uh, one, two, three. Let me see that. One, two, three. And I want you to do that cabbage patch, you know. Can you do that cabbage patch for me? One, two, three. Let's try that. One, two, three. And I want you to throw your hands up and make a circle. And circle symbolize unity. And when the hands come together, you say zoom. Can you try that? Let's go up and make a circle and the hands come together and we say zoom good so uh, i want to see whether we can remember all of that so the first you're going to clap one two three and one two three and cabbage patch cabbage patch throw your hands up and we say zoom can you try that okay let's try that let's try that but it's going to be on the drum so Call and response. If I say ago, I want you to say amen. Ago, amen. Ago, amen. Ago, amen. And then you come with the clap. Come, we're doing this on the drum. Are you ready? Okay. Ago, amen. Ago, amen. We go. Not quite, but let's try this. Okay, let's try this. I go, I me, I go, I me, I go, I me. We go and clap, clap, clap. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Cabbage patch, cabbage patch. Throw your hands up and we say so good. That's so good. All right. So on this uh, little uh, thing, I want you to uh, see whether you can do um, one. This is going to be one, two, and one, one, two. That's all. And one, one, two. Try that. And one, one, two, one, one, two. Clap, 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 Thank you for doing that with me. That was a workout, is that right? Clap, and clap, 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 and clap, 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 and clap, 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 and clap, 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 and clap, clap. So I am going to tell you a little bit about me. I was born in Sierra Leone, West Africa. If you look at the map of Africa, whew, little country about the size of the size of South Carolina. Uh, um, I my. Uh, I was born in the rainforest, and that's the story, <laughs> rainforest, where trees are so tall, uh, 80 feet, and you go into the forest in the middle of the day, you can just see little rays of light on the forest floor, tiny, tiny. And I grew up with snakes, 30 feet long pythons, baboons, school of monkeys, I mean, you name it, uh, just um, um, uh, my grandmama will always warn me, us, um, uh, she said, when you go to the forest, you don't live there. So be very, 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 very quiet. 
be quiet because there are guys that can come. <laughs> Strongly three guys can come wrap around you. If you don't have a chainsaw, you're not going to free yourself up. And so we learn really by living with, with the forest. We live in the forest and we live with everybody. We eat with everybody. Uh, grandmama had two daughters. Um, uh, my mama was a younger daughter. Um, she had nine kids, and my auntie, the older one, she had 15 kids. So she homeschooled all of us, 24 grandchildren. She homeschooled all of us. We all lived and worked for her. Um, um, uh, she raised us on stories. Um, every, at the end of the day's work, we came and we sat around her. Uh, in the rainy season, we were out, we were indoors in the big hut, the biggest hut in the, house, in the village that was built in a circle. The village was built in a circle. All the, how the huts were in a circle. In the middle of that uh, circle was a cone straw roof um, that was, um, the wall was four feet high and um, just hammocks hanging there crisscross. That was my grandmama. That's where she retired. Uh, the end of the, uh, during the day when everybody goes to the farm, she lies in the special hammock beneath that cone straw roof. And that's where people came to also meet her. She was a storyteller. Uh, she was a um, uh, herbalist. You know, she knew a lot about plant medicine. People would come and she would give them plant remedies. And so um, people would just come up. But this village was built on top of a plateau, on top of a plateau, about a five-acre plateau top. And this is a village that basically way, way back in, in the day, this village, um, you cannot just get up, you come to this village. It was a, uh, a, hide, a hiding place. So, in the 15th century, when people, when there was war, people come to grab you, to kidnap you. You know, my people will go up in that village. And anybody who came to attack us never reached that village. Because on top of this five acre plateau, they were, yes, it was the, 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 the five acre was just littered with granite rocks, some of them as big as a room, big as a house. <laughs> and all the folks can do <laughs> when they are under attack was to push one, two, three downhill. And that's, that's enough. And whoever was coming would be running for their lives. So, so that's how we defended ourselves uh, for, from 1562 to the time I was born in 1960. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so just to tell you a little bit about my mama, my mama grew up to be also an herbalist after my mama died, after my, my mother died. But we were um, all raised in this, um, um, we were all raised in this village and um, we played games, um, we played, we danced, we played drums, we listened to stories, we farmed, we fish, we everything. Everything we ate, we grew it. And so that was my life when I was a child. But there's something that I want to share with you, my favorite game, a, a nation game. Uh, there is something called Jiggy Jiggy Skyma. If, if you can just hold your you know, side like that, like you're just like ready position, is that right? So it's like you, you can you know, shake your body. You know, Grandmama lived for 109 years and she can still play this game. You know, in fact, she can sit on her little, you know, special cane and she can move her arm like that. And then, and then you're going to show one hand. If I show my right and we're going to, we're going to jiggy, 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 jiggy means wiggle, 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 and stop. And then you clap and then you show one hand. If I show my right and you show your right, that you are winning. Actually, if you copy me, you win. If you do the opposite, you lose. So it's a, it's a little thing. We're going to do it to the drum. So. Jiggy, jiggy, sky, ma. And then you say, bass, sky, ma. Bass means clap and show one hand. Jiggy, jiggy, sky, ma. Bass, sky, ma. Jiggy. So it's actually a dance, you know. You can wiggle, you know, just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stop, clap, show one hand. That's what this is. Jiggy, jiggy, sky, ma. Bass, sky, ma. Jiggy, jiggy, sky, ma. Bass. Jiggy, jiggy, sky, ma.
as children, we can move our bodies, move our bodies clapping, we can go slow and fast, and so but Every time, if you can copy me two, 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 uh, uh, twice, back to back, then you basically beat me. Because I give you three chances. I say, if you can copy me, jiggy jiggy sky ma, last sky ma. If I go right, you did. Oh, you went left. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm winning. Jiggy jiggy sky ma, last sky ma. So you can go right, right, right. Or you can go left, left, left. Or you can go right, left, left, right. Or left, right, 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 left, left. So those are the patterns. And so we learn those patterns, you know, how you can copy. You know, just because somebody is moving, you know, their bodies, and it can be really tricky because you're clapping together and you have to share, show one hand. So, bass means once you clap, you're going to show your hand. So, bass guy, ma, jiggy jiggy sky, 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 ma. So I am going to just um, do a little drum thing for you. This is Jembe drum. Jembe is the first uh, telephone on the planet Earth. Uh, the first telephone on the planet Earth. Uh, let me see what I can call my mama. Uh, that's not how they use it. That's not how they use it. Yeah, you have to beat it. You have to hit it. And then it travels. So let me, let me, uh, this is the bass on this drum in the center, and this is the tone, and this is the slap. Yeah, bass, tone, slap, bass, tone. So using the patterns on this, it actually gives you, uh, 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 it gives you three, you will get three uh, distinct beat out of this. So the bass, 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 tone, 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 and slap, slap, slap. So slap is more higher. So, uh, but, can you help me sing um, the name of this drum? Djembe is spelled as D-J-E-M-B-E. -E. Djembe. The D is silence. Djembe. Djembe. Let me say Djembe drum. Djembe drum. West Africa. West Africa. So it came from West Africa. Carved from a tree trunk. Laced with rope. And of course, they say sanitized goat skin on top. So it's a little song. Are you ready for that song? Say, Jembe drum, Jembe drum. West Africa, West Africa. Car from a tree trunk, car from a tree trunk. Lace with rope, lace with rope. Goat skin on top, goat skin on Kasin, kasin. Kasin, kasin is, uh, I don't have it here, but it's a metal plate with rings on them. But you cannot say that word without shaking. So I want you to, when you say kasin, kasin. Uh, my grandfather used to say, if you don't shake, when you say kasin, kasin. She said, he said, you will get a headache, you know, <laughs> where well, we actually believed him. So every time you say, kasin, kasin, you know, you're going to do that. So in this little song, I want you to say, kasin, kasin, and just shake. Djembe drum, djembe drum, West Africa, West Africa. Car from a tree trunk, car from a tree trunk. Lace with rope, lace with rope. Go skin on top, go skin on top. the djembe drum so this drum is the millions of them in this country and so wherever you see it uh, you see the shape of it you say it's djembe djembe drum djembe drum so uh, I'm just going to um, play djembe drum the patterns are on the hands um, uh, and the more you play this with your hands you know moving from the center so so
Well, I grew up speaking Mende, and Mende, in my language, is a Bowa. Let me say Bowa. Bowa is how you greet in the morning. Bowa, Bessie. Somebody say Bowa to you, you say O, Bessie. That O means you heard them. Bowa, and then you say O, Bessie. So that's how we greet, and it was nice meeting you. Thank you for doing the interactive stuff with me. Thank you.